So let me let's go back to the beginning. When did you when did you discover computing? Uh, we're the same age. Uh, when when you and I were in college, it was big computers, usually in the special room in the basement. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I I, I grew up in you know kind of backwoods Canada. Um, Calgary. My parents, Calgary, yeah, which at the time was was not terribly big. Um, it it had a had a university which at the time was relatively small. It did have a data center and. We lived about three miles from it, and um, one day when I was like, I just like turned fourteen, my dad, um, a friend of my dad, um, worked at the university, and we wandered over for a tour, and uh, we just kind of like wandered through the buildings, and we walked through the the data center, and. I just thought it was the coolest looking thing ever. It, it didn't make any sense to me, but it was really, really cool. But, you know, I was, you know, this, this like somewhat tall 14 year old. And, and I started just going over there and, you know, reading books and, you know, it didn't take very long to figure out how to um, dumpster dive to get, you know, login IDs to the, 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 <laughs> IBM 360s and wow. Um, of course, the really interesting machines were the the, the sort of small um, PDP eights um, because they were and, closer to something you could you know you could own instead of timeshare. Well, it wasn't so much about owning; they they just had stuff connected to them. Ah, um, like like vector displays and d displays and and. Um, keyboards and key punches and tape drives mm -hmm. and stuff that you could like touch and whatever and you know the one of the things about universities is that that that, that if you just kind of bluster your way through um they just kind of figure you're supposed to be there because it's filled with students who are always kind of like strangers right the, <laughs> right the the staff always expect un unusual people to be wandering through and if you you kind of act like you're supposed to be there. They just sort of assume you are. Um, and, um, you know, a bunch of the, bunch of the doors to like, like where, where all the PDP eights were, they had these, um, these, these rather primitive keypad entry systems. And, you know, if you just like stand around nonchalantly, it's really <laughs> easy to figure out what the magic key code is. I love it. So I did a lot of that. And, um, I got to be friends with a number of the folks there, and I, I pretty much taught myself to program by by by, by breaking in and um, spending endless hours in the in the in the computer center's library, and um, got to know a bunch of the folks there. And um, you know, they they you know anybody who asked who I was and what I was doing, I was always completely honest about what I was doing, um, and then. They probably were thrilled that you were interested, right? Yeah. Well, a smart and then, kid, then, right? then, then some folks from the physics department hired me, um, you know, because I, I, I sort of knew what to do and I was really cheap. <laughs> and, you know, when you're a research project, you know, that's an important thing. Um, you know, so I spent most of my high school years with this um, strange job writing uh, ground station software for the the ISIS two satellite. No kidding! How interesting! Yeah, it was it was. <laughs> wow! Of, right, I, I I I skipped a lot of school, um, and my <laughs> teachers were strangely happy with it. <laughs> no um, kidding! I'm just writing know. some satellite software. No big deal. Well, you know, they 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 kind of figured out what I was doing, and they 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 apparently did a little bit of cross checking, and since just about everybody else, you know. Who was who was doing this in the, you know, we're we're talking, you know, the late '60s, early '70s, and, um, you know, it was it was it was a pretty sketchy time, and you know, everybody else who was, um, you know, ducking out of ducking out of class was, you know, they were they were they were high on something. Yeah, they were going out to smoke in the back, and you were going to write code. <laughs> would you would you write that code for the ISIS on a PDP eight? Yeah, well, it was the it was the ground station side. Oh, okay, and, and that and was a PDP eight. 
Yeah, well, it was, some of it was was on a, on IBM, you know, 360 series. Some of it was on a PDP-8, and some of it was on a CDC um, 6400. All the all the heavy duty numerical stuff was on the on the CDC machines, but the stuff that took the the um, analog telemetry signals and turned them into something that the CDC could read, and actually a lot of the the um, the error analysis and, and and correction and and was was all done on the on the on the PDP eight and even even all of the the displays. Um, we did a lot of uh, interesting work. Um, Putting images up on screens, um, and and of course back in those years, putting images on screens was quite a trick. It's so interesting that so many of the coders, at least of our generation, but I think even later, that was that's the kind of the seminal age, fourteen. And if you were lucky enough to be exposed to a, a computer, you could you could you know call your own. A certain number of people just got became enthralled with it, and their, it, the mind at that point, I guess, is is ready to ready to take it on. Were you writing in the assembler for the PDP-8? Um, well, certainly for the PDP-8, it was all assembler. An octal. <laughs> yeah, pretty. <laughs> well, no, there there, 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 there there was an assembly language compiler. Oh, good. For it, but <laughs> you were doing it. It was it was pretty darn primitive. I mean, this is. <laughs> This is a machine that had um, 4K memory banks, yeah. and you could add um, two or three additional memory banks for it. But um, you know, on this box, all the code had to fit in 4K, and then there was we had a second memory bank that we could um, tie into the display. Um, you know, so when everything has to pay, fit in something in a space that small. Um, you know, coding is a different exercise. I mean, I, I, it, it's almost comical the way people burn through RAM these days for code. Oh, I know. I actually have on order a PDP-8 front face with the switches, but in, in behind it, it's a Raspberry Pi, a $35 Raspberry Pi emulating uh, the PDP-8. So which, so which PDP-8? Because their front faces are somewhat... Dif it's different. A, it's I've an eight I. Oh, an eight I with yeah. the with the, um, the the flat toggle switches. Yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 right. the, the, the the ones that rock. Yeah, the rocker switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, That that is the one to get. The 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 the, the eighter ones, the eight E and the eight L that have the the, the paddle switches. Those those suck. <laughs> um, uh, my friend Steve Gibson, who does one of our shows, uh, has four of these, and he said he kind of fantasizes. That when he retires and he doesn't have to write Windows code anymore, he'll be uh, he'll be uh, he wants to write a PDP-8 operating system. <laughs> um, well, I I have written an awful lot of PDP-8 code. You want to help uh, him? <laughs> and PDP-8 uh, bootloaders. Um, That's what he cut his teeth on, like you. Yeah, I mean yeah. the thing about the 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 the, the switches on the 8i, the 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 sort of rounded, uh, flattish toggle switches. Was you could take your fingers and swipe left and right and and do like a series of <laughs> buttons little, really arpeggio. really quickly. <laughs> so so if you want to like clear the the register to zero, you just have to like stick your finger on on one side and swipe to the other. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> and it was the, the ones that have the like the little toggle flip blade switches. Yeah. Those were a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, and if you're trying to like toggle in uh, a a bootloader, you you really really cared about the shape of the switches. No kidding, that's a lot of yeah. flipping. Yeah. Holy cow! I'm so happy I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah.